This week, Bungie announced that they are buffing rapid fire frame fusion rifles in Destiny 2. Unless you understand fusions really well, I can almost guarantee this buff isn't what you think it is. So, what is Bungie changing, which fusion rifles should I look out for, and more than anything, what does it mean for the Crucible as a whole? This buff affects rapid fire frame fusions only. Likely Suspect, Riptide, Null Composure, Cartesian Coordinate, Zealot's Reward, and Iterative Loop. Currently, rapid fire fusions have a 0.5 second charge time, fire 9 bolts, and must connect 7 to 8 of those bolts to one burst an opponent guardian depending on their resilience level. If you run 0 to 5 resil, you'll only take 7 bolts to take out. If you run above 5, you'll take 8 bolts to take out. Bungie is buffing the rapid fire bolts by 1.7 damage a bolt in PvP. It's not much, but it's just enough to make it 7 bolt all resilience levels. That's it. There's no stability buff, no range buff, no accuracy buff, and if you run 5 resil or below, you will not even notice a difference when fighting a rapid fire fusion rifle. I really want you to hear me on that. I say this plainly for two reasons. If you're hoping to bust out your likely suspect Riptide or Null Composure and suddenly do amazing with them, don't. This buff won't make your bolts suddenly connect. If you feel like these fusion rifles are bad, it's because they are. <laughs> and you can check out my full fusion rifle ranking list for details on why they are. And this buff isn't going to change that. Two, the only thing this fusion rifle buff is going to do is help you secure the elimination if you are leaving higher resilience level targets with 1 to 12 HP left. So, if this buff is so little, why the uproar? And why did you, Lego Le Flash, personally say you didn't want this? And what fusion should I look out for that will break everything? Well, let's start with the general uproar and then me. A good fusion rifle player who knows their precharge is frustrating to play against, but I'd argue a good rapid fire frame fusion rifle player who knows their engagement distance and can swap strats on a dime is the most frustrating fusion to play against. They are just very, very fast, and when they were first reworked over a year ago in Season 15, they were even faster, more consistent, and had incredible range. This was the season I did terrible things with Cartesian Coordinate, and it stayed this way into Witch Queen, where I posted several clips of Likely Suspect going off the rails with successful warm-up. I think the uproar we are seeing now is from people never wanting to see anything like that ever again. Fortunately for you who feel that way, rapid fire frames were nerfed deep into the ground shortly after Witch Queen. Many of those nerfs hit all fusion rifles, but because rapid fire frames have such low base stats, they took the nerf the hardest. A significant range nerf, stability nerf, and a specific charge time nerf and damage nerf that brought us to where we are today, and made them have to hit 8 of their 9 bolts to eliminate guardians running over 5 resilience. So, 4 different nerfs. This incoming fusion buff does not undo any of those intense nerfs other than the damage one. Rapids will still feel exactly as they feel today. They will just not leave people with 10 HP occasionally, as they do right now. So is some of the uproar unwarranted? I'll put it this way, you can't say fusion buff and not have people get upset. It's just very divisive no matter how they are changed. Okay, so why are you, Lego Le Flash, the fusion guy, saying you didn't want to see this change? Well, I think rapid fire fusions are good right now. You've got some that are absolutely terrible like Riptide and Likely Suspect, but you've got some that stand with the best like Cartesian Coordinate and Zealot's Reward. And now Iterative Loop too. These are all really solid fusion rifles and the ones you should keep your eye on. The reasons we don't see them much, I believe, range from having large maps, post seasons of defensive pulse laning metas, players struggling to control them after Witch Queen nerfs, all the way to the possibility that some just haven't really given them a shot yet. Because of all this, I think there are those that will try them out for the first time and be like, wow, this is really good. There are even those that think the buff already happened. And then there are others who will pull them out after the buff and be disappointed because they don't have the range or stability they used to have in Witch Queen. So in some ways, yes, they aren't currently as good as some of the other fusions, but in my mind they serve a very specific purpose, the anti-fusion fusion. If you have someone giving you problems with Azure Ingredient, Epicurean, Wise Rebuke, Glacioclasm, you name it, 
A rapid fire frame fusion will eat them. It's beautiful and I was fine with them staying like that. The damage buff is nice in that it gets rid of the requirement for having high impact reserves in the fourth column like Cartesian Coordinate and Zealot's Reward are capable of, but it is also a buff to those weapons that already have high impact reserves or are already good fusions landing 8 bolts. And I personally just feel like it's going to make those good fusions more frustrating to play against than they need to be. I would have rather seen a buff to the rapid fire fusion rifles that are just bad, like Likely Suspect and Riptide, if we wanted to see them come on the field more, but I think people are going to just be disappointed with those. So that's why I feel the buff was unnecessary. It's not even that they will be that amazing, it's more like it just wasn't needed. I know I'll have people disagree with me on both sides, some that think the buff wasn't enough and some that think I'm underselling the buff, but I find myself just somewhere in the middle. I just think they're already good and I like those underdog destiny weapons. I get that maybe Bungie doesn't want to see whole archetypes fall into that underdog category, but when I see a zealot's reward player that knows what they're doing, I'm legit terrified, incoming buff or not. I have to change up my playstyle because I know how fast they are with it. Iterative loop is going to be its own beast as well with options to extend the stability and range to some insane levels. And I've got an incredible deep dive for that coming up soon. I'm not going to lie, I'm going to have fun with the buff. I'm going to play with all the new stuff and see what I can push with it and see how I can counter and push back as well. And I'll be sure to let all of you know exactly what I find. I've already updated my Discord with crafting guides for my rapid fire fusion rifle recommendations. Link is in the description. This has been Lego Flash. Until next time, GG.